Hey everyone, welcome back to Travel Spin. My name's Ariel, and today I'm doing a pack with me video as I get ready for my trip to Orlando. I will be going to my first ever Halloween Horror Nights and my first ever Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party. So if you're ready to get packing with me, let's get started. I've always wanted to do this. long time since I've done a pack with me video. I think it's been two years. The last time I did one was during the pandemic. Um, it was at the very end of the pandemic when we were, you know, allowed to travel for the first time. And I went to Disneyland right after it had reopened. That was my first ever time vlogging ever in my life when I did that trip. It was really fun. But the pack with me video was awesome. And then I never did it again. So now that I have moved to a different state and I'm settled in my apartment, I thought this would be a great time since I'm getting ready anyway to go to Orlando. This this would be really fun to pack with you guys. So um, I'm going to be packing up some different things this time. It's a little bit different climate. Uh, so I will be going to HHN, like I said, and Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, I will be having a costume. I'm actually going as Megara, and I am a little bit nervous <laughs> um, about the costume, about bringing it with me because I have a wig, and I'm not very good at putting on makeup. So all that is going to be interesting. We'll see how that goes. Uh, but I have her dress and I think I've got everything I need for that. So mostly we're just going to be packing up for the uh, Orlando trip and maybe I'll throw in some footage of the costume. Maybe. I might need to do it a little differently tonight later, but we'll see. I have never been to Orlando in the fall before, especially in October. Never been. So I don't know quite what to expect. From what everyone says, I guess it's going to be uh, like warm, basically normal weather, just a little bit cooler than when you're there in July and you're melting. Um, I know in the springtime when I went, it was in the high 80s. So um, I have videos to that too, by the way, with the last time I was there in the springtime. But this will be my first time in the fall. I just checked on the weather app and it showed the high 80s to, you know, like high or like mid 80s to low 60s, I think. So it won't be cold. Uh, I was going to bring some pants, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'll just pack some leggings and see how it goes. But I am so excited to be going for my first time ever. I've been trying to vlog for a month. I've been super busy. So I'm going back to college and I got inundated with homework and stuff. So I got super busy. I've tried to film three different videos and they all have not turned out. So this time I am, I'm ready to just be relaxed on a vacation and vlog and hang out with you guys. I miss you all so much. Uh, thank you so much, by the way, for 309 subscribers. You guys are awesome. I cannot believe it. I thought I would only ever get like 50 and not even 50. I thought I wouldn't even pass 20 to be honest. And the fact that I'm at 309 is mind boggling to me. So thank you guys so much for that. And um, yeah, without further ado, let's get to packing for Orlando. I got some packing cubes once from a FabFitFun box when I used to do those years ago and I found out that I loved them. So ever since I make sure to do packing cubes whenever I travel. So I will be staying for four nights but I will have some driving in between. So I will be packing a little bit of extra clothes just for the car ride and things like that. I do have a little bit of a drive. So I will be packing a little bit of extra clothes just to have on hand just in case. I will be staying at Universal the most of this trip, except for the one time I go to the party and then I'll be in costume. So I'm not going to pack any Disney shirts on this trip. So they're all going to be Universal. What do you guys think works better? Are you a roller or a folder? I've seen different takes on this. I personally fold them up like this and then I roll them. I kind of like the fold then roll method but um, what do you guys think is the best way to pack shirts and leggings and all that kind of stuff? And I know that there's lint on these. I'm not worried about it because I always pack a lint roller with me wherever I go. Lint rollers are a must when you have two cats like I do. I'm just going to pack three leggings. I don't know that I need them. If I don't need them, it's fine. Leggings are light and they are not, you know, a super heavy item, not like pants or something. And there's so much room with these shirts that I'm just gonna roll this on up and put it in with it. Since there's enough space right here, I'm just going to throw in my bathing suits. Oh, 
On to my next cube, which is going to be shorts. And I'm going to pack one pair of athletic shorts for the ride home. This is my bathing suit cover up. It's really soft. I got this from the Columbia store in Disney Springs last year and it's perfect. It's, you know, water wicking, it dries fast. It's perfect for a bathing suit cover up. And it's really pretty, so I'm bringing this and I'm going to bring another dress just in case. Sometimes I like to just wear a dress when I go on vacation, a simple t-shirt dress, nothing fancy, but this simple t-shirt dress is really cute. I got this from Southern Tide and I really love the feel of this fabric. It's really, really soft. I'm also wearing spandex underneath my uh, Megara dress because it's just easier. I wanna go on rides and stuff, so I figured, you know, biker shorts or these spandex are a great one. I'm gonna be wearing like white Keds like style of canvas shoes, so I'm just gonna plop those in there with that since that's all going together anyway. And this packing cube is done, we're almost done. So these packing cubes are really neat. Um, you can fill them a lot more. And then they have this extra zipper, so if you wanna do a little space saving vacuuming, you can just zip them up like this. and they kind of suck down all the air and they make it a lot smaller. All right, up next. Do you guys wanna know what's going in this? My underwear, and I'm not showing you that on camera. Up next, toiletries. Cannot forget toiletries. What are your go-to moves when it comes to toiletries? Do you guys? Uh, use like you know your own use bottles do you go out and buy stuff I'd love to know I have super sensitive skin so I have to use all the you know hypoallergenic type of uh, products so buying travel size for me is a little bit harder than most people for instance this is the body wash that I use this is the only body wash and I've tried all the types I've tried the organic I've tried the non-organic I've tried everything this is the only one that does not make me break out as much as others. So yeah, it's for hypoallergenic sensitive skin. I don't know if you guys can see it, the glare is kind of bad, but yeah. So I have to use travel size bottles a lot. This is pretty much everything I will be taking, uh, not including my makeup, which is going to be separate. And my face wash stuff that I have is a little bit more. I have a few more things. I'll show you that when I put them in, but let's get all of my toiletry stuff in the bag and then I can move on to like the face wash section and then the makeup stuff. This is one of my favorite bags I have ever found for toiletries. I hate bags for toiletries because I feel like I never know, they're always so big and everything goes to the bottom. So I found this one actually at Walmart a couple years ago and it is perfect. It actually holds everything really nice and I'll actually show what it looks like after I'm done. Controlled chaos is how I usually do things. <laughs> And then I put my toothbrush case uh, in here. I have an electric toothbrush, so it's kind of bulky, but it does fit on the top of this. Now to the other side. I always get sick when I travel, like I pick up colds and a bunch of other stuff. So I always make sure to take airborne or emergency. This time it's airborne with me. And I have sadly been diagnosed with IBS, which means my stomach is always feeling gross. And uh, I've never seen a travel size Tums like this before. I usually get the little roll kind. So I was very excited to see this in the travel section this morning when I went to the store. Here is that lint roller that I was talking about earlier. I always travel with one. I found a travel size this time. Even when I don't find a travel size, I still always take a lint roller with me. And of course, if you're going to Orlando, you cannot forget about sunscreen. Here's a better look at my toiletries. I know it's kind of, it looks kind of all over the place, but trust me, this organization is a lot better than some of the other bags that I've used in the past. Okay, so this bag is always used for overflow items. I am bringing allergy medicine. That is something that I always bring with me everywhere because if I don't have it, I will die. I'm sure you guys can tell right now by my voice that I am going through some bad allergies at the moment. Um, I just can't seem to shake them. They're really bad. I've done everything I can do. It's 
It's not like I feel gross. I'm not sick. It's just allergies and it's just all up in my throat and my nose. It's really annoying. I would love it to go away. I don't know if Florida is going to make it any better. But I already put my face wash in the other thing. Usually I put it in this, but this time it fit in there. So face wash in there. And then I have a travel size container for my face lotion and a travel size container of the under eye cream that I use. Plus they don't make travel sized, but this is a serum that I put on every time. It's this guy, this one only requires like two pumps on the face before I put on anything else. And then I also put on this under eye cream for during the daytime. This really helps with dark circles and puffiness. I do not leave the house without this EPF on my face. Uh, this Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen is the best. If anyone's looking for a great uh, sunscreen that goes on and it's not greasy, and this actually activates like primer. And I think it ever since I've used this, I believe that my makeup has looked better because it's like double priming my face. I just, I love this stuff. I wear it with or without makeup every day whenever I go out in the sun, this is the stuff I use. Okay, now it's time for makeup. So I have not washed my brushes yet, so I'm not going to put them on the bed because they're not washed. I have to wash them right after this video and clean them. But I'm going to pack everything else that I'm going to take. This is my favorite travel case for a beauty blender. Um, this actually came with a beauty blender in it. It even comes with a solid cleaner for your brushes and your beauty blender. And it comes with one of these textured pads that you can use with your beauty blender or your um, makeup brushes while you're on the go. This is one of my favorite little kits that they sell. I got this at Sephora. Since I'm going as Megara for my Halloween costume, I picked up this purple eye makeup just so I can use it to define, especially these two colors. I can use these a lot because they really do match the dress that I'm going as her. And I also picked this up from NYX. This was actually over in the Halloween section. I don't think it's really specifically for Halloween, but they had it over in the Halloween section. Here's a color swatch of it. It looks a lot better in person. I actually put this on my lips the other day and it looked really nice. Um, it's definitely perfect for Megara. There is a better look at it. It's definitely a perfect color for Megara's lips. I also packed a much lighter pink color. Um, I actually bought this one on accident a long time ago and they told me to keep it, so I have it, and uh, I've ended up saving it. It's perfect for Megara. It's gonna be nice pink rosy cheeks for her costume. And here is a look at my costume. I am not going to unpack this until I get to the hotel room, but this is Megara. This is going to be my costume. And I also have a wig that I'm going to be wearing as well. So I'm going to pack this in a different bag just to have it on the side because there's glitter in this costume and I don't want to get that all over my clothes. So I'm actually going to just put all this in like a reusable bag and take that with me instead. I'm also going to pack a lot of clips to clip down my hair for the wig. Um, I'm not a very good hairstylist, so this is going to probably be really, really bad, but I'm gonna give it my best shot. So I have these clips to clip down my hair for the wig cap. I also got this gold uh, bracelet to put in the hair, uh, to put around the ponytail, so this is going to probably be a disaster, but I'm going to give it my best try. Because it's going to be chillier in the evenings, I'm also going to pack my universal sweatshirt just in case.
thank you guys so much for packing with me while I got ready for Orlando. I know I didn't do a lot of talking in this video, but um, I'm not sick. It's just, I just have such bad allergies right now. I know that allergies where I moved to are 10 times worse than where I used to live. I used to live in California, I moved to North Carolina, and I will say the allergies here are crazy. Uh, the southern allergies are nuts. I've heard that when I moved here and now I'm getting a full dose. And this year's worse. Last year I had a hard time, but this year I'm having an even more hard time. Um, but I'm really looking forward to my trip down to Florida. I can't wait to go on all my favorite rides and go to Halloween Horn Heights for my first time in Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. So in the next couple of days I'm going to do a lot of filming and then expect a lot of videos to come out once I get home. I'm gonna be doing like a room tour, hang out with me at the hotel, and then we'll do HHN on its own separate video, and then Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, and then a whole day at Orlando in, in the parks. It's going to be so much fun, and I cannot wait to take you guys with me. Oh, and as I'm sitting here, I just remembered, I can't forget my annual pass. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot this. I have it sitting over on my bookshelf. I've been using it for decoration. Whew, good thing I looked over and saw it because I totally would have walked out the door without this. So yeah, don't forget your AP if you're an annual pass holder. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna be taking this. I am so excited. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Hope that you guys are excited for a lot of new things to come. If you like what you saw here today, please hit the thumbs up. It does help me in the algorithms and also make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell because like I said, tons of videos coming out. If you don't want to miss one, make sure you click the notification bell to not miss out. All right, everyone. Thanks again. Bye.